my bad bitches, all my bad bitches who love on a weave, who got a Chanel habit, who is always dripped in Gucci, Fendi, Louis. If your man had go prison and he gave you $2 million, what would you have done with that money? What would you have done? Hey guys, it's the Nappy Goddess and I'm back with another YouTube video. Last week or the week before, I saw an Instagram live. It, it was featuring Sarah, Russell Wilson, and Lala. And of course, they were talking about the Sierra Prayer. Now, for those who don't know, the Sierra Prayer is basically what bloggers and social media influencers uh, consider the prayer that Sarah said to God to manifest Russell Wilson. However, I'm here to discuss a couple misconceptions about this Sierra prayer. One, sacrifices. Now, a lot of people saying that, oh, I want what Sierra have, I want what Sierra have, I want what Sierra and Russell Wilson have. However, nobody is talking about the hard work they're willing to put in to get what Sierra and Russell Wilson have. Nobody is saying, I'm willing to sacrifice A, B, and C so I can have a relationship that flourishes. That's not a part of the conversation, and I have a problem with that. Like, Sierra, she still makes music, yes, she does. However, um, I think Sierra, nowadays Sierra is known for her relationship and her family life versus her music. I don't know if that was purposeful, but her family definitely comes first, based on what I've observed. One of her faves would be Michelle and Barack Obama. Now, in the book Becoming, Michelle discussed that while she and Barack were busy securing the bag, achieving their goals, and basically doing one bag of things on them to-do list, their relationship had glitches, guys, and it got to the point where they had to get counseling and they had to make some sacrifice or make some changes to get a complete one, a complete 360, 180, I'm bad at maths. But yeah, they had to make some changes to bring it together for their relationship to get back on point and get back in sync. Yeah, another one who is deemed as relationship goal would be Keisha Kayor and Gucci. Yes, Keisha Kayor and Gucci Mane. Gucci was a hot mess before he got incarcerated. Gucci was all about alcohol, music, women, and drugs. And Keisha was a part of his life, but she was a part of his life cleaning up his mess you know and before he left for prison he gave her two million dollars and she flipped it and made six million dollars with her business her, she has a pickup business as well as i think an athletic wear something like that but she turned she turned the two million dollar into six and gucci was impressed by that he loved he loved her for that um when him come out most interviews they had they they mentioned that they were like damn girl Da, 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 you know she a boss oh my bad bitches all my bad bitches who love on a weave who got a chanel habit who is always dripped in gucci fendi louis if your man had go prison and he gave you two million dollars what would you have done with that money what would you have done we need to mold ourselves to become that type of person gucci had to change he said that himself he had to become an honest man for her and while he was in prison, they were working out together. He was changing his eating habits. Him drop one bag of pound. Yeah, he had to change as well. And I'm sure Russell had to sacrifice certain things. And Barack, even President Obama, had to do that as well. So it's not just a one-sided thing from a female perspective. And a female alone have to sacrifice. The type of man who loves to go out, come in 1 o'clock in the morning and all of that. If, you, if you're one of those men who do that every night... Some female naga put up with us. Some female are disgusted by that. Guys, let's stop looking at social media for relationship counseling. Social media is created with photographs and five second videos. I was a part of the Jay Z and Beyonce team. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, I love Jay Z, I love Beyonce, I love them together. They, they are the perfect couple, their couple goals, and all that, all that, until Lemonade come out, and it was like, damn, can Jay Z really give Beyonce a gun? Yeah, he gave it a gun. But my point is, we don't know Jay Z, I don't know Jay Z, and I don't know Beyonce, I don't know what's going on in those people's lives, you know. Same on social media. What kind of relationship goals can you get from photos and, and videos? Come on, you know, let's let's kill that. 
we need to look at real life people and be inspired by their relationship and by their hardship kill the fantasy social media is just a fantasy guys let's kill that let's create our own sauce go to god and don't be like god more was sarah of more was sarah and russell wilson of our god more was michelle and barack of no create our own prayer let's let's find out what we want and go to him and ask him for that if you're trying to manifest a person into your life you have to mold certain parts of you to get that person in your life you can't just say oh i'm gonna be the same person i'm gonna be the same person and whoever may i pray for i'm gonna get them no you have to make changes as well people you have to make changes so that's the end of this video guys like this video comment under this video subscribe to this channel it's the nappy goddess I've been thinking